thought Justin Fields was right there along with Trevor Lawrence as far as what he could be in this NFL. Like that was that was something that we talked about on show after show. And why is he not in this conversation to be the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers along with Mac Jones and Trey Lance? But two things can be true. Like Jeff, Jeff like Jeff just said, it ain't time to give up on Trey Lance. First of all, he played in a damn monsoon. This is a running football team <laughs> where obviously that's compromised when you play in those type of conditions. It's, it's against what the San Francisco 49ers really like to do. And then second of all, yeah, we thought Justin Fields was better. We talked about mm-hmm, the lack yeah. of reps that Trey Lance has had in college. We talked about him coming into the league from a lower tier uh, level of college. We saw Justin Fields play against guys in the Big Ten that you're going to see in the NFL. That's always the case. Doesn't determine how good you're going to be. It's just something that prop that gives us as former players a little bit more comfort about this guy has seen the type of competition that he's going to play against on the next level to some degree. But yeah. ultimately, we we all, not all, but RC and I believe that Justin Fields was the second best quarterback in this draft, which is why I was screaming he should be playing last year for the Chicago mm-hmm. Bears. Take your lumps, progress, and now you get to be the player that you need to be. But ultimately, fellas, Trey Lance, the quarterback in San Francisco for a long right. time. They gave up Correct. a lot of first-round picks to get him. And, and so that then begs the question, because sitting yesterday in that seat, another guy named Dan, who's pretty good at evaluating quarterbacks, mm-hmm. was saying there were things he saw that really upset him, mm-hmm. which is sure. to say the, the fundamentals, some of the uh, things that, you know, that, that most people might not normally see. From the people you talk to around the league, how much concern was there about that performance? I, I think a lot of people are willing to write it off because of the conditions. And, and you know, running football team that lost its running back early, that didn't have its run-blocking, you know, monster run-blocking tight end. In the, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Trey Lance is going to struggle. He's going to have bad games. He's going to have bad throws. He's going to have bad possessions. He knows this. Kyle Shanahan knows this and has said as much. They're going to have to ride that out and do the best they can to mitigate it. But RC, as usual, is, is nuanced in what he's saying. He's not just saying he thinks Fields would have been the better pick. He's also saying the Niners made a mistake in keeping Garoppolo because mm-hmm. when Lance inevitably does have rough patches, it's going to lead to, oh, should they be going to Jimmy G? And that's why 100%. it's up to Kyle yeah, Shanahan I, I think, to manage that locker room. I think it's going to lead to that in the media, but I have a hard time believing that that's actually going to happen in the locker room because as closely as we watch the 49ers, the 49ers watch the 49ers. Yeah. They were a part of that team in the playoffs last year when Jimmy Garoppolo was – not, Not was, was bad. Yeah. And <laughs> even the playoff games that they won, you're Jimmy saying they was him. Bad. You're saying he was carried by that team. Yeah, he was. And I think that the players know that. And my guess is that they'd be willing to sustain whatever growing pains there are. As long as Trey Lance has a good play or a good game every now and then to give them hope that he can turn into the type of quarterback that they want him to be, I think most players in the locker room, as much as they like Jimmy Garoppolo, they remember what happened last year. And they remember what happened – in the Super Bowl. I think they remember that and they have hopes that Jimmy, nah. that um, that Trey why, Lance can transcend some of those mistakes. Th- that's why Ooh. Shanahan's messaging internally has to be as strong and consistent as it's been externally because he needs that buy-in yeah. from the rest this, of the roster. This, is, this yeah. is GM Fox, right? This is GM <laughs> Fox. Let me wow. tell you something. When you're in the locker room, bro, they're not worried about two years of development. What they do know about Jimmy G, whether they're carrying him or not, is they win dang near 70% of their games when he is playing quarterback. When he's not, they don't win nearly that much. So, something happens has to change when Jimmy G is in the game. And if you're talking about not making the playoffs, a lot of these guys might end their career after this season. We don't know who does and doesn't. That's a big deal. We'll see. They play Seattle this coming Sunday at home. Be an interesting game in San Francisco. I- Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.